So we've been showing you guys some amazing ways you guys can improve your streams with personalized effects. And today we're going to be continuing that with a personalized start screen. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can make your very own start screen and get it working on your streams. How's it going everyone? I'm your host, The King, and we're going to have some fun today teaching you guys how to make a start screen. This is going to be a quick and mini tutorial on how to do this, but still detailed enough to look very professional and interesting. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into this. As always, you're going to need Photoshop and some sort of editing program. So what we're going to do is start off with a gradient. You can use any of the presets that are already here. It's not very too important because we are going to change the colors with a HUD. Simply create a gradient. I like green and yellow as they're my two favorite colors. And then you still want to make this unique. We can add a little bit of a pattern to this. So a fitting theme to me is a crown since my name is the king. So I'm going to grab a crown PNG that I found on Google that is free to use. Click on a color overlay and then you'll have whatever color you want. In my case, I want white. I'm going to press control T to free transform. And we're going to make this a good, decent size. From here, we're going to control C and control V it and basically rinse and repeat this process until the entire screen is filled with this. So let's do that. So once we've gone ahead and duplicated every single layer, we are now going to go all the way to the bottom. We are going to click on our first layer, hold shift and click on the top one and then click on the folder button so it can be a little bit more organized. From here, we press control T, make sure everything is in the center and that's pretty much where we want it to be. We can even hold shift if need be to stretch it out to make sure it is fitting properly. Now that we have this going and we have our background, we're going to turn down the opacity of this so it could be a little bit lighter. We don't want it to be so bright and in our face. Create a new layer and then we're going to click on the rectangular tool. And what we're going to do here is basically make a giant black rectangular bar. We're going to change the opacity to maybe about 35%. And then the final thing that we need to do is to bring in our own logo, whatever your own logo may be. Now, make sure you have a PNG. If not, get rid of the white background. Simply use the magic wand tool. Then you can go ahead and use the eraser tool, unconvert it from a smart object, and just get rid of the background. Once you've done that, reposition it to a decent size. I'll take up a good portion of your screen and you are pretty much done. You want to save this now in threes. The first thing you want to save is your stagnant background. So save that as a JPEG. The next thing you want to save is your black bar. Save this as a PNG file and save this separately. And the final thing you want to save is your logo that is currently resized. Once you do that, open everything in your editing program. In our case, it is Sony Vegas, and you're going to insert two more video tracks to compensate for everything and put them all on top of each other. Now we have our beautiful background going on and it's time to get animated. You're going to stretch all of these clips out to your desired destination or desired time, I should say, or duration. I want my start screen to be five minutes. Typically, they're five to ten minutes. I personally like five minutes. So we drag this all the way to the five minute marker. Once all of our clips are at the five minute marker, it is time to start animated. We are going to click on the event list on our background. And what we're going to do is zoom it all the way in. We're going to push it to the top right and maybe give it a rotation. We're then going to keyframe all the way at the end, drag it all the way down and give it a opposite rotation. So what that has done is over the course of five minutes now, our background is going to slowly move all the way from left to right. This gives it a lot more life and we're also going to do some more. What you can do on Sony Vegas is actually change the hue and saturation. So we're going to drag the hue changing effect onto our stagnant background. To easily do this, you can click on the little F and you can click on the plus if it doesn't pop up and you should see something called GFX and you can look in here to see if you have your hue changing. Once you have your hue changing, we're just going to keyframe this from the start, drag this all the way to the bottom, go all the way to the end, and just drag it all the way to the top. Simply done. Now, at any point that we click, it will be a completely different color than what we had before. It's now time to get our logo animated. And simply put, all you need to do is just zoom it out to a good amount. Make sure it is centered so you can just move this around until it's in the center. And then go about a few keyframes in and click on right click and restore. You then click on both of these keyframes, hold control and then click on both of them, control C, and then go to your next keyframe, control V, your next keyframe, control V. Now what we have is something that makes it look like it's going in and out, in and out, and it looks pretty damn nice. So the final thing that we need to do is to get a timer. 
You can find a lot of free to use timers such as this one online that you can use once you have it, download it and bring it into Sony Vegas. Simply add another video layer, drag and drop your video, delete the audio if there is any and adjust it to be five minutes long, just like your entire clip. From here, we're going to event and pan and crop and we're going to basically put this on the black bar right here and get it in a nice centralized location. From here, we are going to click on the left hand side to get rid of the background, change the compositing mode to add, and that's going to get rid of majority of the background. To completely make it look very subtle, we're going to add a mask and we're going to use our circular tool. You can use a rectangle if you want as well. We use this one just for the example. And all you need to do is to add a feather, add the feather in both, and then amplify it until it looks decent enough. If you don't like the way it looks, you can always change it to in, which is always good as well. And this is going to pretty much ridicule the background and get rid of it. And then you change the positioning to be more accurate with where you want it to be. So now what we have is a countdown timer that basically plays throughout and the entire color changes on everything. And it looks pretty damn good. So we have the timer that's playing, the background that's moving, and the logo that is pulsating. What you want to do now is highlight everything and render it out. So once your video is actually done and rendered, you want to make a new scene and you're basically going to call it start screen and you're going to drag and drop your file in there. To save on rendering time, I'm going to use my own that I typically use. Once you have it here, right click on it, transform and fit it to your screen. And then you're going to add a chat bot. Once you add the chat box in, you basically add the source, move it so that it actually fits on your black bar that you've created. And just like that, you now have a wonderful start screen that you created yourself and is unique to your own stream that you can start using. It is that simple and that easy, and it is completely unique and original to you. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. A few quick, simple steps, and you now have your very own start screen. But that is going to wrap it up for this video, my friends. Let me know if you did enjoy it. If there was anything that you found complicated, leave a comment down below. and We'll be sure to help you out. Make sure you check out some of the other videos as well, where we teach you how to animate emotes, create a stinger transition, and much more. But that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you had a fantastic time. And I hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys next time.